Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a quick video on installing Nginx and PHP on Ubuntu 20.04 uh, LTS. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. We've got a fresh install. Ubuntu 20. I am logged in as root. Um, probably not advisable, but that's how I'm going to do it. Otherwise, you can do it from your regular user and preface most, if not all, of these commands with the sudo command. But here we go. Go ahead and, as usual, with a fresh install, we'll run apt update and apt upgrade. This may take a few minutes. Yes. <clears throat> wait for that to get done <clears throat> I will yeah it's almost done should go pretty quick it's a relatively new operating system all right that's done cool so we did apt update and apt upgrade and now it's real simple for nginx we'll just do apt install nginx Say yes. Give that a couple seconds. <clears throat> cool, that's done. Very quick, very painless. <clears throat> Just to double check that it is running, we'll do system control status engine X. It is active and running. Let's check what our IP address is on this box. This is running on my local network. Um, so this is not accessible to the world. It's just accessible for me. But this is the IP address of my local network and I've actually already got it started over here. You should be able to refresh and see the default page. Perfect. Um, just to demonstrate control over, over it, let's go ahead and create a, create our own index. That's the standard index file right there. The one that's showing up, we'll do nano index.html and we'll just do an H1. I'm not going to bother doing the full structure here. Quick hello world. Control X, save, yes, and enter. Should be able to just refresh. And there it is. So we've demonstrated we have an Nginx server up and running. Very quick, very easy. Let's go ahead and get PHP rolling. Uh, this will be PHP 7.4, as I believe the package manager for Ubuntu 20.04 comes with that by default. Um, and because we are running engine X, we are going to want to apt install PHP dash FPM. And that will be the package that engine X uh, plays really well with. I should take a little bit. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, PHP is installed. Just to double check that it's running, we'll do system control status PHP 7.4 FPM. And there it is, it is active and running. <clears throat> so now we do have to edit a config file in Nginx to allow Nginx basically to use PHP. And that would be found in, oops, that's not how you spell clear. Uh, nano slash etc Nginx sites dash enabled default. And if we go down 
And actually we do want to add index.php so that PHP index files can be loaded as indexes. And then we want to comment on a couple lines out here. We want to uncomment out that line, the include snippets, and this one right here, the fast CGI pass with the PHP 7.4-fpm.sock. And don't forget to uncomment the closing curly brace for that block. And that's it. So we'll control X, we'll say yes to save, and we'll hit enter. <clears throat> we will have to restart Nginx. Uh, doing this wrong. Restart Nginx. And that should be good there. Let's go ahead and nano a test. Uh, well, we'll do info.php. And we'll just do a, a standard issue PHP info command here. Just to prove we've got it up and running. <clears throat> Control X, save yes, enter. And we'll come back over here. Put in slash info.php. And there we are. So, as promised, this was just going to be a very quick video to get Engine X and PHP rolling on this machine. Uh, catch me in the next video. We're going to install MySQL 8.0. All right, we'll see you guys then.